Cities across the U.S. are looking for ways to balance their ever-increasing budgets. Albany no different. However, Mayor Jerry Jennings says his city is turning the corner faster than others. As revenue streams increase, there are still certain constraints taking a toll on taxpayers' wallets. Here are the facts first. The 2012 city budget was $168.5 million. 74% of it pays for city workers and their benefits. Albany will have a $14 million fund balance at the end of the year. But as Pat Bailey explains, the city will still need to dip into its rainy day fund to keep it on the right track. Albany taxpayers dish out a lot of money to be protected. In fact, one quarter of the 2012 budget went to just paychecks for police and fire personnel. That doesn't include their benefits. Our retirement benefits every year are going up by a couple of million dollars, two and a half, three million dollars. About 11 years ago, we were probably 500,000 contributions. Next year, we're projecting 17 and a half million dollars. In 2012, Albany only had enough cash on hand to cover three quarters of that bill. It borrowed the rest. That means added debt to future budgets. You mentioned those rising costs and the city's um, contribution this year, $15.5 million. You paid $11 million, according to your budget director, in cash. You bonded for the other $4.5 million. You got a healthy fund balance. Why bond the money? Why create future debt? Well, the problem is we don't have a healthy fund balance. We can't use the fund balance and, and maintain our bond rating. We have a great bond rating. Out the best, second best outside New York City, and as far as I'm concerned, that has to remain a focus. So if we can bond something, we'll do that, especially if we'll save positions in our police and our fire and DGS, and that's what we're doing. So you're saying it's worth it to take on that extra debt to save positions? Yes, there's no doubt it is. No doubt. Despite borrowing money, the city cut employees, 155 since 2011. Twelve of them were police officers. Well, I've cut across the board that many positions. That's all agencies. DGS, some police, some fire, and we're still delivering the services that are expected, and I'm not going to compromise that. Despite some rising costs the mayor says he cannot control, he's talking about some positives in the city, like new development, and aggressively talking about consolidating services with the county and the school district. Taxpayers in Albany will get a glimpse as to how their wallets will be impacted next year in just a few weeks when the mayor unveils his 2013 budget proposal. In Albany, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News.